Hi, in this video I will talk on talk about the bright star Tariq Surah. In the name of God, most gracious, most merciful. By the sky and uh, Tariq, do you know what it is? The bright star. So I think it was translated like this because if you say it like the by the sky and the bright star, do you know what the bright star and the bright star sounds not good? So, uh, so this is uh, important that at that time we don't know what star is, so that the definition is required. And this is good that God, Quran has um, poetic style, but still for for the novel terms there is uh, <clears throat> there is an ex further explanation. So the the fourth verse, uh, interestingly, different also differently translated. Absolutely, everyone is well guarded, but in fact, if you think like well guarded, uh, uh, it means some some translated as the, there is something that record record us, and uh, this is like uh, observe us, observe our um, behavior, observe what we do. So this is interesting, like, firstly, the Quran emphasized the star and is telling that we were uh, actually watched, like we were uh, monitored by God. And uh, let, let the human reflect on his creation. And then after this, the damn chance, the first, it uh, mentions the the star as an evidence and then absolutely everyone is uh, well guarded let the human reflect on his creation think about your creation and he was created from ejected liquid <clears throat> from between the spine and the vis viscera so there are uh, articles about it explaining uh, how this happened and how it related it so and if you search something, search this on Quran, and you can, and in, on Google, you will find more information about it. He is certainly able to resurrect, resurrect him. The day all all secrets become known, he will have no power nor a helper. By the sky that returns, by the earth that cracks. To grow plants like the by the water and this is a serious n n narration not to be taken lightly they plot and scheme but so do i just the uh, respite to disbelievers a short respite so here uh, here uh, also the interestingly uh, quran mentions the sky that returns the water and then uh, the grow plants and and also there there are a lot of uh, metaphors in the quran that the resurrection date will be like a plant so that that's why it is interesting and thematically related <clears throat> so and then here we see that this is a serious narration and not to be taken lightly and then uh, however there are people who take uh, seriously and they're seriously they plot and scheme and they're like if they're an atheist you, you probably shouldn't care about religion like it's a waste of time for them but they're they indeed plot and scheme for their own profits and so but it says the god too and so they can only plot and scheme for a short respite because it's a, sh it's a relatively short it means like com considering that compared to Eternal life, it is indeed a short respite for the disbelievers. Uh, so, we see that in this in this uh, surah, and there is mention of uh, astronomy, and maybe, uh, so also brain, and so everyone, so that the, our brain records things, and also maybe it's connected to astronomy somehow, and there is a biology that uh, biology like we uh, created 
and explaining it. And then after creation, we will die and we will be resurrected. And after that, there will be no helper. And then it is like going back again. And then the water and to grow plants. And this is a serious narration, not to be taken lightly. lightly sorry. They plot a scheme and so God too. And, and after the short respite, short time, then God will, show, God will judge them fairly. So thanks for watching this video and hope to see you in the next video. And this is my interpretation of the surah. And uh, so this, so you can also search for different uh, translations of the Quran.